Hey, what's good, everybody? We got another beers with Barton, <clears throat> Sunday edition, um, and yeah, week's almost over, and I think I've done one of these every night for about the last week, so probably take a little bit of a break on this. I need to get back to some of the appreciation beers. I've got about another eight or ten I need to do um, sooner than later, but it's been a rough couple weeks sports-wise, man. Super Bowl, Niners gave one away. Damn near broke my heart, but about halfway through the week, we made it the Duke Carolina week, right? And I'll be honest, Carolina's been bad this year. They have lost a lot of games that they shouldn't have. Um, had some injuries, of course, which everyone does, but they've lost. Lost a lot of guys to the draft. So I didn't expect high things from this year, but this is way worse than I thought. So I was just hoping uh, to be competitive. For the Duke game, obviously, you know, anytime you can beat Duke is a... Uh, <clears throat> Is a great day, but uh, they're up 10 halfway through the first, 9 at halftime, up 13 with 4.5 to go. Crazy ending to go to overtime, get down, um, end up being up 5 with 20 seconds to go, and still find a way to lose. I mean, I'll be real. I, I always try to stay away from the, uh, the refs change the game kind of guy because that sounds pretty pathetic. And at the end of the day, a couple things. Carolina missed a ton of free throws, like... 20 free throws and obviously if you make one or two or three more of those they win so that's first they they, they gave the game away um also at the end of the day duke just like the chiefs they they got an extra chance to make some plays and they did they made the plays crazy plays i mean um trey jones missing the free throw getting it and then dribbling and hitting an 18 footer over cole anthony to send it overtime and that's amazing and then uh Wendell Moore at the end. So that you got to give him credit, you know, no matter how much I hate them as a team and organization, I'll always be a Heels fan. I just can't stand Duke. Um but they credit where credit's due on that. Um there were there were some rough calls. There was uh the worst I think that no foul call at the end of overtime with the Heels up 96-95 um against uh um, I think it was Wendell Moore maybe ran to play check, uh, pay check, play, play check. I don't know how to say his last name. I mean, he ran into him like before he even had the ball. It was like he, he hit him with his shoulder. It's a, it's a clear foul. It's not even close. They say the ball goes out. They get it back. Trey Jones drives, gets fouled, which I don't even know if it was a foul call. Arms were straight up, but gets called for the foul. He makes the first one, misses the second, and then air balls it Wendell Moore. So, I mean, I think the refs. Yeah, it certainly helped at the end to give Duke an opportunity. But like I said, the Heels would have hit their free throws. Um, they wouldn't have been in that situation. And if, um, you know, you can't blame Duke for that. They got their chances. But uh, that was a rough one. I mean, Carolina's not going to the tournament um, unless they win the uh, ACC tournament, which they're not going to. They're they're playing better. Um, so even if they beat Duke, the only thing it does is you can trash talk. But, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe if they won a couple and – Finish around 500 and win a game or a game or two in the tournament. You know the committee, depending on the the field, could have maybe put them in because it is the heels. But whatever, they may not even make the NIT at this point. I think they're 10 and 13 and three and nine in the ACC. But to lose to Duke sucks anyway. But the way they lost, they were the better team for 38 minutes and then another two, three, so 40 out of 45. But it is what it is. Um, I just feel like I need to take a break from sports, man. It's I'm broken right now as a fan, which is, uh, you know, it happens when you pour your heart and soul into it. So imagine me as a fan where it means nothing to me. Imagine what those Niners players feel or those Tar Heels fans. But luckily, uh, sports are going to kind of die out here a little bit. I know basketball season is going to finish out. Um, we're going to have uh, March Madness, which I love. I mean, obviously, I'll be into it and I'll do a couple brackets and watch the games. But uh, I got about a month for that. Baseball start, but that's always slow anyway. Hockey, sharks have crapped out anyway. So long story short, been a tough couple weeks for sports, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of a break, and um, probably from doing beers with Barton and from watching a lot of sports. But uh, had a great um, birthday weekend for Michaela. That's all that matters. Tomorrow she turns nine officially, which is fantastic. Had the family over tonight. Had a great time. Hung out. Caught up. Um, and uh, just enjoyed each other. So uh, Beers with Barton tonight is a good one. Um, we're going to celebrate Michaela tomorrow. It's a school day, of course, but uh, got her another little something that she can uh, she can see tomorrow. And, um, you know, enjoy. We did get her a bed. She wanted a new bed. 
from Ikea and put that together. And then uh, family got her some cool stuff too. And uh, her friends did. So it's been a great weekend for her. And I know she's excited about it. But uh, we got her a little stuffed animal she wanted for her actual birthday. Um, I was going to get it for Valentine's Day. But uh, my wife kindly reminded me that we have a birthday for her. So I'll get her a little something for Valentine's Day. But <clears throat> anyways, we're going to do a little beer review tonight. And probably uh, step away and take a little break from these for a, a week or two. Maybe back to the appreciation ones and just... Uh, no sports, maybe no beers with Barton for a couple of weeks. I just need to take a break, man. I'm beaten. I just concentrate on life. <laughs> anyway, Sam Adams, Holiday Porter. You guys know how I feel about Sam Adams. It's one of my favorite breweries. This in Sierra Nevada. It's the Holiday Porter, dark and robust. I got this in a variety pack probably about a month or so ago. Flavorful beer with a rich malt complexity and robust finish. Deep roasted malts complement the generous portions of traditional English ale hops and Bavarian Noble Hops to create an exceptional and delicious winter brew. That's Tim Coach, founder and brewer. So this is uh, 40 IBUs, 5.8 holiday order. Um, I've had this before, I haven't had it in a while, but I remember it being pretty good. Yeah, you can definitely smell the caramel notes right there. Uh, deep roasted, yeah, for sure. It's got that holiday heaviness. Um, but you see, as I pour it, it's, you know, it's not overly, overly, overly dark. Yeah, you can smell the toasted <clears throat> malts for sure. A little caramelized, but, uh, and of course, on the, the bottom it says, Chia's. So, yeah, Sam Adams Holiday Porter, 5.8. Drinks like a 5.7, 40 IBU, so easy. It should be an easy drinker, but um, just want to say... Happy 2020 to everyone. It's February. <clears throat> I feel like everyone's kind of in the groove now and um, hopefully uh, hitting their stride for 2020 and accomplishing um, everything they set out to, whether it's, uh, you know, New Year's resolutions that I've never been a big part of or, you know, being the better version of themselves, new jobs, new workout routine, new diet, new relationship, whatever it is. Just hope everyone's doing happy, healthy, and well. Um, and so everyone's doing what's best for them, whatever whatever that definition is of best for them. So for me, started the new job. I'm trying to stay back on the eating healthy and uh, getting back into the gym because uh, I kind of hit a lull for about six weeks to two months, especially in between jobs and just being a better me, you know, and uh, not watching sports for a while because I'm tired of having my heart broken. The Niners and the heels probably broke my heart worse than I've ever, ever had it, you know, by a girl in my whole life like that that sounds stupid but I guess I'm almost 40 so at this point I can't remember having my heart broken um <clears throat> unless you consider Jess who breaks my heart every night because I don't even know where I was going with that anyways um yeah so anyways cheers cheers to 2020 beers of Barton holiday porter it's toasty cheers It's, uh, it's lighter than your typical porter, which I know porters obviously aren't as uh, heavy or robust as a stout. Um, all this one does say dark and robust, but it's uh, smooth, solid. It's full flavor. It's dark and robust for sure. It does have a lot of flavors to it. It's uh, trying to see when this was actually released. Um, it actually says enjoy before month not, and it's April. So I'm assuming April 2020 because I probably bought this in, um, yeah, 2019, right at the end, I think November is when it was brewed, it looks like. So it gives it about five months shelf life. Anyways, good good beer. Can drink a couple of these. Um, I think you get three in the variety pack. Excuse me, I think it was this. Old Fezzy Wig. Um, man, I can't remember the other two that were in it. Um, but good beer, so... Cheers. <sighs> there, I got one more of these in there. So, cheers. Beers with Barton. Um, until next time.
Deuces.